Hoi Trua, trouble is just grabbing coffee before he starts. Oi. Maud the Blobfish just subscribed for five months in a row trouble jam oi.
Poi Mord, Poi Manu. Right. I have obtained some coffee. Let's go. Webcam doesn't want to work again. Why does it keep doing this? Camera. Yeah, seven minute intro while I uh, go and find coffee for myself. And try and work out why my webcam doesn't want to work. There we go. Hi Maud. Hi Trua. Hi Manu. Seven minute intro? Never. Fuck that, I put my glasses. There we go, now I can see properly as well. How are we all doing? I said I can see properly, they're all smudged and horrible. Blech. Today has been a cold day for me. But luckily I've got an easy work day tomorrow so I can be proper lazy. That's the plan. That scar's done. Yeah. No worries, true. It sounded like you needed it from the message. Ah. Got two proper stubborn snudges. There we go. Now I can see properly and smudge free. Much better. Yeah, it's pretty cold here again. Yeah, I will be adding more sound redeems and stuff soon when I uh, think of what to put. For now, we've just got the few that I fixed and put back together. I'm sure I've got Arch Jam on BTTV, so you should be able to use it. Right, we should make a start, shall we? Remember what I'm doing. Uh, oh, it actually has a speedrun option. No. We're going to do hard. No game data. Last thing I need to turn off, I remember. Can't be doxing all my mates while I play. Well, I'm not going to play a crushing difficulty. Marco Polo was also on drugs most of the time when he was exploring. Lots and lots of opium. So, like, a lot of what he saw probably wasn't even real. But no, I've got enough for difficulty at the moment. I'm uh That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a part of my blood. Is it echoing or is it just me? Um let's double check. Ah, that's why. Webcam is also being picked up as a microphone. I should fix it. Is it fixed? Yeah, the webcam also has a microphone in it, and it turns itself on every now and then for some reason. 
Hi Bora. I usually catch it before the stream starts, but apparently not this time. We're falling off a train. Time to climb. Or we'll try to climb. Can I climb? Go well, this way. Maybe back the other way? What if we go to this side? Anyone want to take a guess of where we are? Oh. Like mountains, snow... We're going to be like... Canada? Alaska maybe? Norway? Norway is a possibility. Alaska... Could be like... Big river down there. Lots of big rivers. The big mountain range, could it be like... Tibet, like the Himalayas or something, or where's the other big mountain ranges? The ones that are in France that people go. <laughs> Amsterdam in Florida, could be. So I'm trying to remember what the mountains are in France that people go like skiing at and stuff, could be those. Ethiopia. Yeah, the Alps. That's the one. No. Oh, he's bleeding all over as well. Could be dead soon in this weather. Yeah, it's like infinitely worse if you're in the cold and bleeding. Because it's harder to clot. So the bleeding doesn't stop by itself as well. And, uh,. Yeah, you can like break up the wound again without noticing because of the cold. Jump without the swing, you die. You die horribly. Uh. I'm surprised he's not sliced his hands apart, to be honest. Like he's climbing up like jagged bits of metal. Jagged bits of metal. Job. Scripted. He's got to survive. See, is it going to do the film thing where I climb up this and this one starts slipping off as well? Yeah, it is. Let's do it. Now we're going to run through here. Let's go. Faster. And then you run and jump out the end as it falls off. See? Knew it. character moment. Ah, oh, my eyes. Yeah, it's basically Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, if he was more interested in selling shit. Drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. Have you seen their, um... Come here. Carrying on Indiana Jones with his kid. Job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. And I'm listening. Now, you're not going to like this. <laughs> Needs a shave and a butt. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift Yeah, I was saying the, um... Who made it out. Yeah, Indiana Jones was getting a bit... Tired by that last back. film You're or two, so it's a two job. not that no, no, no. interested in it. Three, actually, right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. I did like the Kid in the Indiana Jones Fraser? film. That was great. Uh, Kid in the Indiana Jones Drake, series, Drake, I should say. That was great. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. 
She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. So where are we going? going? Through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. <laughs> that puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across oh, the like a temple. Just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> but that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. It's a genie oil it's lamp. It's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector yeah, I think who's got the... too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, I recognize the voice of the woman on the anyone. left, and I'm trying to think where from. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. I recognize her voice. So I think it's, um... I can't remember her name. True, I might know. She played Aaron's son in, uh, Forest Gate. See what I mean? it's just and she was in... Like the He's last series or so of Stargate. Yeah. I can never remember her uh, name. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with six hundred. Hi, Dave. Ships. Oh, I've got the right person. Good. And he lands in Persia I just don't know her name because I'm crap with names of actors and stuff. And only eighteen passengers. Now he recorded every. Alna Fisher. That's the one. What happened to all those ships and the passengers? Yeah, she voices um, Tess Everest in Destiny as well. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. How are you doing, Dave? The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So, Treasure hunt time. We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Ooh, stew and dumplings. I like stew and dumplings. Me and Dad make it sometimes. Like we got a slow cooker that's perfect for making stuff like that. Just leave it cooking all day. Oh. No, don't follow me. I'm walking the stupid direction, but don't follow me. Not like the bullshit from the first game where it was like instant death. Depends how they're made, mod. Like, I have had like stew and dumplings from like a uh, treasure. That looks. Just gonna sit or in do, maybe. Wonder if I can tell on the menu. Does it tell me? Saraswati statue. No other information. Oh, the ones at your work, are they like Chinese dumplings? Shoot the lock. It's always locked. Pew. Yeah, the, uh, when you get, um, stew and dumplings in the UK, it's not those kind of dumplings. They're like um, more like bread dumplings. 
The ones in the UK. He's alive. Oops. Karma's a bitch. <gasps> Can't believe it, Dave. Noodles. Yeah, it's the perfect thing for like a cold day like these. Look at the moment, Dave. Stew and dumplings. Yay, back inside. Bits of falling over train. Speaking of, this looks like an East Asian train. They tend to make them with like these benches and stuff. And with them mentioning like Kublai Khan and stuff. I'm willing to bet we're in that area. I'm going to bet we're in the Himalayas or something like that. Oh, is your oven still not working? Shit. And unconscious. <laughs> Dave definitely likes Asian food. He will get it whenever Katie lets him. Poor Ma, poor Ma that doesn't like it. Well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? <laughs> you mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Bart's going blind. That's what anyway, it is. You haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Move me. You're gonna move Probably Richard over so a bit so he's not oh, in the not way of the subtitles. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I yeah. figured out he was actually on to something, Hi, Greg. I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's Join the, the best time, Greg. Just like we said, we pull the heist. Find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn. Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just disappear. Together this time. <laughs> I see. How you doing, Greg? Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. <laughs> I could say the same about uh, Vampire Survivors. I've been playing that a bunch. Got my first stage clear. I just need to get it to work on the other levels now. I did even try Slay the Spire despite my uh, unending hatred of card battle games, but nah. I still just couldn't get into it. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll have that Dwarf Fortress addiction soon. It is uh, payday tomorrow and there are two games on the definitely buying list. Uh, one being Dwarf Fortress and the other being Bayonetta 3. So yeah, next Tuesday is going to be Bayonetta 3 day. Ow. That looked painful. <laughs> oh, you're not, um... Are you saving your character from when you do it on stream, Dave? Is that what it is? Dagger! Is that a sword? No, it's a dagger. 
an illegal dagger as well. It's one of the things I learned from reenactment. Like if you can have, you're allowed a flat blade, and you're allowed a double-edged blade, so blade at the top, blade at the bottom. A tri-edge like that, actually against the Geneva Convention of like unusually cool, unusually cruel weapons. If you just stab somebody with it, it's near impossible to sew up again. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away... Get a cheap-ass biker dagger. That, Better than you do. Get one of the well, ones where it's like a rose wrapped around the handle and shit. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah. That's what you want. We won't. Ideally, down your forearm. We're here. I'm trying to remember what the name of the basic ass Greek daggers are called now. This way. <laughs> Rose and a compass and a butterfly. So um, there is a name for them, and it's like a. We cannot bumble our way through this. It's like a basic looking straight dagger. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable. You cocky bastard. <laughs> I'll remember at some point. There. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. Not true. When you I got my faith in each other. <laughs> first okay. ever tattoo, there was a dude yeah. getting a, a koi fish tattoo remember, on his shoulder. Our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights. Just me getting this crappy little make sure you cut the power by the dragon tattoo that cost me like the lights will be out. 30 quid and now looks like crap. Point. Just make sure you and then the out of there and there's another guy across from me like a huge fella getting a full like half sleeve like shoulder to elbow and See on the other side. he was getting a koi carp to cover up his ex-wife's name. <laughs> I'm sure you know where you're going. Don't know your ways. So I'll show you my dragon tattoo. It's like it's crap. Like it's blurred and everything over time. Uh Yeah, bamboo and a koi carp he was getting. So yeah, I got this. Move the microphone so you can see it properly. So you can see it's blurred and everything. But yeah, it was literally only 30 quid. Cost me almost nothing. And yeah, it still looks decent. But I want it covering up. It is going to get covered up one day with a better one. But yeah, when I was getting that done, there was a dude getting uh, half sleeved up done on his shoulder to cover up his ex wife's name. And it was a uh, koi carp and bamboo. Like a koi carp swimming through a, a pond with bamboo sticking out of it. I honestly don't know what I'd get up. Th for the cover up for it. I want my left arm to be all the nerdy stuff. So I was thinking because it's like a a solid piece I might reserve that for like where I get my Dark Souls tattoo. So I'm going to get one eventually. Because it needs to be something dark to cover up solid black. Oh wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. No this is a door. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. <laughs> I don't get it. Just give me a boost. So, the three tattoos I got Thanks. were not that 
bad to be honest. Felt like um Almost there. You ready? It's like a dull it's pain. It's not like a stabbing pain or anything. Even though it is needles going into your skin. Like even when I got my my bite my dice done close to the wrist, got him coloured in and everything. Even that wasn't bad. Here we go. It was more just a dull ache than anything else. We're good. Yeah, out of ten for pain, I'd probably say like a three. Two. No, no numbing cream or anything like that. Um, the two newer tattoos that I got actually don't like using numbing cream. Um, because it's hard, like, say you have a reaction or something like that, it takes longer for you to notice if you have numbing cream or stuff like that on. When you really want stuff like that to pop up straight away. Reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, alright. Yeah. <laughs> Do it, Dave. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. <clears throat> yeah, the bonier the area, the more it's supposed to hurt. Fleshier areas hurt even less. Unless it's like a right. really this is the way to the courtyard. sensitive bit of skin. More treasure. Ooh, what's this? Evil eye. But yeah, I, I made my decision a long time ago that my left arm would be for all my my nerdy shit. Well, so like all my gaming and Dungeons and Dragons what, and what stuff would be seen. tattoos on my left arm, right. and then my right arm would be for somewhere. like. See if you can find it. My other passions, so like marine biology stuff, I'm gonna get squid and stuff on there. You got it. Bye. It it depends because it can be a more sensitive area for some people. I know a couple of people who've got thigh tattoos and they were no problem. Alright, controls are definitely much easier in this game. Like, I'm way... Way easier to judge, like, how far you're gonna run and stuff. And not just, like, run and jump off edges. Fishes and dice. Okay. Now, there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to yeah, the I think I've shown the picture me. before. There's like, I want to get the... There's like an old-fashioned drawing of a tr of a kraken. Where it's a, basically a giant cro a cross between a, an octopus and a squid. And it has uh, circle markings on it. And I want to get that on my right forearm. And then get smaller fish around it. Like puffer fish and things like that. More treasure. It's a ring. It's locked. Might get a blobfish as well. Blobfish are cool. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Wait. There's an alarm. Oh, that's new since last time. Oh, great. <laughs> now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. Got to be around here somewhere. Looking for a junction box. Can we just follow the wire? We can. So it goes that way. And then.
<laughs> Where does that wire go? Oh, it goes out the other end. To this. Poor little sad blobfish. There. That ought to do it. Do I have a sneak? Doesn't look like it. Shit. I got him. Look at the way that guy walks. <gasps> we get a stealth takedown. Night night. Sweet. I'm a master ninja. There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Yay. Well, let's do it. So we're going to do we can only sneak during designated sneaking sections. Mm -mm. Come here, you. We've got to get up to that balcony. Ah, uh, that'll painful. We can climb the gate over here. Just slap yeah. his head into the stone. Have a more ninja climbing. Come on. Got him. The gate's open, but I'm pretty sure there's a security camera next to it. <gasps> Punching the air. Come on, get him. Sure, shiny over there. I saw more treasure. Give me. There we go. Oh, he's took out the other guy. We're good. Oh, it's not a camera. It's like a sensor box. All dead. It's what they get for guarding treasure. Dangerous job. Should be able to. Lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa! Whoa! Not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, oh, great. You want to get this one? Wait here. No, because he's a dick. Right, uh... Follow the wire. So we got green wire. Red wire goes up. There. We're just going to climb up to it. See if it'll let me. I think I'm supposed to. It wouldn't let me climb up here otherwise, usually. Okay, it's off. Is 
we I was expecting that to be the moment where he buggers off. Uh... Okay, oh, betrayal, you're on the other side of the gate now. It's usually what happens with these things. Alright, we gotta cross this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay, I'll just let you do what you ask of me, alright? Alright. Head to the fountain. Alright, if we go one, two, three. Any more? <laughs> On the way out. There. Lights out. Another guy up there, so we'll get the fountain one. Can we get him from here? Lights out. Oh, he actually took one out. Rather than waiting for me to do all the work. Now, now we climb. Way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. A lot of bloody windows. Like a ninja. Oh, crap. Now what? Distraction. It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non lethal. Your conscience oh, will remain this? unscathed. Oh, oh. oh you uploaded it. Great. Oh, that's cute. Advice. These things have lousy rain. Sitting in three days. You okay with that? Know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. All right, let's take these guys out. Right. Rolls of stealth. Take the guys out of the back first. As long as these two don't see us. And it's better to get take out the guys up there. Like that. Did they not just not reach? It doesn't want to rip off. Something with wheels, this is very heavy. Give me a hand, will you? There, that'll work. Now, all we need is a horse. Raptors will get us onto the roof if we can get up there. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Yeah. Oh, yours. <laughs> yep. 
yeah, I uh, totally didn't forget while I was coughing. Yeah, shut up, Greg. <laughs> um, how are we supposed to do this bit? There we go. Balcony. Bells. So we still need to get to the roof somehow. Alright, there's the tower. Getting closer. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. What is it with this series and towers? No worries, Trua. Enjoy your sleeps. I to say we spent a big chunk of the first game trying to get towards a tower. <laughs> no worries, Maud. Enjoy your sleeps. I had a nap before my stream. That's kind of why I missed the end of your stream, Maud. Because I was asleep at the time. <laughs> no! As man who had her designated nap today, that is important information. Okay, I can get this. Yeah. Once again, you're up. Swinging time. We. I'm right behind you. As always. No nap for Manu today. Oh. But did you sleep well last time when you didn't have a nap? Or were you just really tired? There's a guy above you, there's a guy above you. <gasps> Killed him. There's a guy below you, there's a guy below you. Look at that beautiful city. Right, we were heading towards tower this way maybe. <laughs> Slept horrible last night. Yeah, usually if I have like a bad night's sleep I end up like passing out the day after. So, uh, oh yeah, I see ladder. Yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. There's a guard right below you. <coughs> Pew. Yeah, it's bugged. Yeah, I think the achievement things are bugged. Either that, or it's picked them up from when me and Kelly used to share profiles. That could be it, actually. Quick, take a minute. Be 
Can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. <laughs> That's my girl. She did it. Oh, no way, he's bulletproof. Okay. We're clear. It was worth a try just to see what would happen. Oh, now it won't let me shoot him. Ooh. Ladies first. <laughs> Good. Go. There it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> Lock picks. All right. That was fast. Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> Crap. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. Light of the Great Khan. It's math. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. Is that really a good idea in here? And... Ooh, freaky blue flyer. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shambhala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. Mm -hmm. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Uh, yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Bastard. Sorry, mate. This is where we part <laughs> ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. Let me shoot no, him. You had a plan. Let me shoot him. Out I've got one of my own. Okay. Come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> Shit. Bash. You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen, face it, genius. You've been played. No, you're just a dick. Uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Reach. That was literally my last bullet as well. Right, we'll go this way. Guy's on his own. No, 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 no. Okay, now I'm screwed. 
Thank you. Thank you, Yang. Thank you. Um, yeah, there it is. um, where's what? So, was time to get attacked by alligators. Use your head, Nate. Use your head. Oburada. Oshada. Climb? No. Get out of here. That one. If you're in doubt, follow video game lo logic and head towards the light. This way. Ladder. <laughs> See you, suckers. No more hole. Never mind, I got caught. Rubbish. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. <laughs> oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey. Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, Stinky. it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they <laughs> haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Bazarovich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yay, a race. Bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Nice. That's got to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust yay oh. okay i see where this is going I just need a <laughs> diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off chloe i was thinking more like an explosion or that can be arranged are you in oh hell yes i was in before you were
Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <clears throat> okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. Birds. <gasps> two cans. Look, Manu, two cans. Do I do it? Do I do it? Oh. Ah, well, they're immune to bullets, it's fine. Bomb. Here it is. I also left the detonator for you. <laughs> yeah, and two guns are immune to bullets. We've just right. we've done science and First discovered this. Don't touch the button. This one. <laughs> Once you've set all the charges, just hit the detonator and it's showtime. <laughs> They'll never know what hit them. Just be careful. Zarovich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. More parrots. They look like love birds. They're the ones with like green and like a, a red or an orange head. <sighs> I'm sweating like a hooker in church. You brought a hooker to church? Why not? while they're looking exactly in this direction. He's got a hand cannon. for all the burbs yeah I'm sure they'll be fine when we set off all these bombs won't cause any problems for them whatsoever all right hold on grandpa see if I can find another way up um we climbing up the junk AK Look, even more burbs. Are they love birds or are they just parrots? Never mind, I fell. these birds bulletproof? That's the important question. Yep, these ones are bulletproof as well. <laughs> All 500 burbs get the achievement. Uh. 
Monkey. Where are the monkeys hiding? I need to find it for the monkeys. Oh, no. no, you got me. All I want to do is shoot a monkey. Monkeys are also bulletproof. They should have been back by the ship. We've been spotted. Take them out fast. We can't let them go. Oh, shave and a haircut. Who's this? <laughs> it's a capuchin. Two cans. Right, um, where do we go from here? Back up this way. I see. We climb up this. You should be getting close to the first camp. I planted four more charges in there, but you're going to have to clear the place out before you can arm them. Let's do it. Where? Well, so there was a guy who went over that way. Sully gave me away. Can't see any more, but the music's still playing, so I'm assuming there's guys over there. Yep. Generator, more bullets. Ooh, I can get the revolver. Damn 
Why is the AK such a bad weapon? Back to the revolver. Wow, they're killing me in like a single burst. However, firing blindly from cover actually works in this game. Pew 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 pew. That's the plan, Manu. Just fire wildly until they're all dead. Look, they're right here. We still got our arm three of the charges. Maybe one of the ones you could shoot down, but apparently not. Uh, I have an idea. Can I? Screwing around. We haven't armed all the charges yet. Oh, there's more explosives to find, that's why. Should be only two left. Uh. 
Burb. Now, can I go up here? Maybe, maybe not. Come on, kid, quit screwing around. We haven't armed all the charges yet. Right, so there's four explosives down here somewhere then. Right, what was behind the secret waterfall? Anything up this way? Nothing. Rubbish. There's one. Alright, one more and we're out of here. Where's the last one gonna be? There. Found it. That's all of them. Now let's go pay Mr. Lazard. It's a visit. Now can I use the ladder? Can't reach us. Come on over here. I'll give you a boost. All right. Come on, gorgeous. Jump up. You got a great ass, Sully. Thanks. Here you go, kid. All right. Must have been some tsunami to wash these ships so far inland. Mm. Gonna be the big tent, isn't it? Or not? Said his tent was in the middle of the camp. Why can I not do anything? I'm just running around in circles trying to work out what to do. Get his ass kicked. Follow the hose. Just like in Montreal, huh? <laughs> You're never gonna forget that, are you? Oh no. 
Right. I have no weapons anymore. How uh, you slay is slay the spire runs going, Greg? I'm assuming that's what you're doing. Are you winning? Three months and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been commander. Must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get shot. You would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no, need money. <laughs> Ooh, stabbed. Nasty. I am surrounded by traitors and fools. What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Do it. Greta, search the perimeter. Go. All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Sully with his hand cannon. Oh, never mind, he's got a sniper. Okay, kid, it's showtime. Can you, like, give me your AK? Not paying us enough of this shit. Shut up, would you? I'm sick of your complaining. He's looking this way. So is he. You gonna patrol? You gonna turn around or are you just gonna stay there? Looks like you're staying there. Can I hop over here, you see me. I can. Even better. And so we got him. Nice. Quit, let's steal all the hey, important stuff and run. Guys, and screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> Here they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Steal everything. It's me. Everything. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kubla Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo was he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. Yay! <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? 
up the mountain. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh oh. Nate, you gotta get out of this. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's he? That old dead. Crap. Brenda. Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Nate. Well, that's convenient. Yay. The sniper rifle you've got, Solly. Yeah, it's easier to control at least. Like the aiming is still wonky, but I think it's meant to be like cinematic or some shit. More grenades, please. What I get for trying to help Sully. I'll do what I can from here. Quick, give me more nades. Ha, 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 ha. 
reinforcements. Hang back. I'll do what I can for the end. Incoming. I'm a bit busy right now, sorry. Trying not to get shot myself. The guy who was shooting at me got oh, is he dead down there? He is. window. I'm guessing you're supposed to. Why? This. Right, left a handy ramp for us to get up there as well. Should be this way. Let's go. <sighs> yeah, they've definitely gone much higher on the graphics with this one. Uh, the guns are still about the same but oh, movement is also much much easier. resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Do it. Oh, this place must be thousands of years old. At least. 
Down this way. Oh, looks like we hit the jackpot. Ooh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. I think they're all ugly. They must have taken refuge here during the tsunami. Yeah, demonic There's faces. Gotta be some sort of clue around here. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipwrecked. More resin. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, creepy UV light. This is blood. It's everywhere. Looks like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. Nothing ever bad happens when you follow all the blood stains. This wall. Yeah, that's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. The trail leads in here. More bodies. You know, maybe I'm crazy, but it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, mate. You're just getting spooked. Nah, they all stabbed each other to death. Like, you can see swords sticking out of them and stuff. Just murdered the hell out of each other. Look at this. What do we have here? <laughs> Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. It's uh Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? Stabby dagger. What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a perba. A ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? You know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore. It's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. Oh, <laughs> right. Nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Oh, I'm lucky. 
Let's get going. Looks to be that guy. I'm going to go out and make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Time for her sudden yet inevitable betrayal. Give me a hand, Nate. I guarantee it. She's like slipped that dagger in her belt. And she's going to turn on those outside. Harry! In here! It's Drake! See? Bitch. Up. You sure know how to pick him. Shut up, Sonny. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you. Victor, goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps. <laughs> between India and Tibet, one temple will reveal a pathway to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. Quick, push him in. Come on, keep moving. <gasps> Double the trail. Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> Shit, they spotted us. Run for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Will you quit screwing around and get up here? Let's go. I'm trying, I'm getting shot at. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. Yeah, we get caught, Lazarevich will break them for us. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Oh, come on, now don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. <laughs> there they are! Oh, shit. Well... Shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid. <laughs> Shit. Look, he's swimming. He's fine. He's not dead. Hi, shiny. When you said Lazarevich had a head start, I'm you doing? kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local gorillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. I'm good. Yeah, well, I'm quite enjoying this game. Provide some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, me? Never. So I'm actually good. quite tired. I just realised what time it is. I might end but shortly. Uh, yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. All right, you got it. Uh, <gasps> Been chased. Oh, 
Do I get to drive? Do I get to drive? It might be too late for that. Come on. Nate, are you alright? I've been better. Oh, shit. Oh, I wanted to do the driving. Run away! That got him. Shit. Now to get ambushed in the street again. The old market. Be this way. Spiking. Crap. There we go. <clears throat> go, go, go. He's here somewhere. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Rebels. Wow. I might just leave them to it. Oh, never mind, those rebels got wasted. Hi, Brina. How are you doing? You're in Poland at the moment. Okay. Now I just gotta find. Or have you escaped for a bit? Grenades, gimme. You're enjoying it at least, you're getting those fly towers in that you need. Where the hell am I supposed to go now? Unless climbing? Maybe. Slowly but surely. <laughs> cold as shit. It's cold as shit here as well, Brina. We've had snow for the past couple of days. It's been like minus four, minus five. Some parts of these are really obvious where you're supposed to go. Yeah, I'm not looking forward. 
to going into the office tomorrow. It's supposed to snow again tomorrow as well. Ellie Jobber. Gonna sneak him. Got you. No! I wanted his gun. I'm supposed to get out to the street now. I think I am. Leave the street. Take his gun anyway. <laughs> Indiana Jones, but I murder everybody. Do I get grenades for getting a stealth kill then? That's what it looks like. Yeah, you get extra grenades for getting stealth kills. Cool. She got those two over there. Those two over there. Dude walking through the middle. So what we need is a well-placed grenade. All right. Oh, he spotted me. Oh. shield and that was a badly aimed grenade I played a little bit of it, Brina, but I wasn't that impressed. Like, the dragon flying was cool, but everything else was pretty much the same, so giving it a miss. So I have a new addiction now. Called Vampire Survivors, and it's entirely, entirely Bart's fault and yours. <gasps> right, shit. Hello, my name is Richard. Help me, I'm stuck in Aaron's room and it smells like forts. <gasps> Kerskia just cheered 10 bits. True, blah, 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 cheer 10. Hello, my name is Richard. Help me, I'm stuck in Aaron's room and it smells like forts. Alright, that wasn't supposed to happen. I broke the alerts. Oh, so he's got a rocket launcher. <sighs> nice. Seems like I am always saving your ass. Yeah, poor Richard is trapped. Well, it is an ass right there. Saving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Is that an ancient Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? Oh, maybe I'm just happy to see you. Hmm. Yeah, hello. Yeah, I got my uh my first Yes it is. Um Marco Rune collection. What do we do with it? Ah. Um I have no idea, actually. I do know Lazarevich oh, it's not. far without it's the woman in two, whatever she's called. You know, he and Flynn have been tearing this city apart. They must have leveled dozens of temples already. So what's our next move? Nate? I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Check this out. You see the symbol? Yeah. Look up there. Okay, I see the resemblance, so what does it mean? It means we know how Marco Polo found his next clue. The temple we're looking for is going to be marked with this emblem. Now all we have to do is find it. <laughs> you do realize there are literally hundreds of these temples throughout the city. Yes, but if we found a higher vantage point... We could spot our needle in the haystack. Right. There's a hotel not far from here. <laughs> Chloe, now is not the time. It's easily the tallest building in the city. Right, right. Well, okay. Uh. That's, uh, that's good thinking. Follow me. You oh, yeah, my uh, my venom hat. It's cool. Right, so we have been rescued. I lost my riot shield though. Give me my riot shield back. More bullets. Even more bullets, that's what we want. Oh, that's a good share, actually, Brina. It's no good. It's locked. Wait here. I'll see if I can find a way around. Quick, climb on things. Could be. Don't think it was this one. This one only popped up with like a speedrun mode or campaign, so might be Uncharted 3. Um, where are we supposed to be going? Can't climb up that. Take the grenade though. It looks like that'd get me up there. Sign. Uncharted 4. I've not played any of the Uncharted before. Like, I played a little bit of the first one and that's it. So. Just go in. Right like around this way. It's like I remember doing the the PvP in the last of us and that was like Scuffed as all hell. I've not watched the Uncharted movie yet either. I might do it after I've like played through a bunch more of these. <laughs> okay, there's nobody here. Unless. Shut the wall! <laughs> I got you. Nate, open the door. Uh, 
Whoa, we survived. Let me shoot you in the hand some more. Or that'll do. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tom Holland is quite young. It's why they got him to play Spider-Man. Although he was supposed to be a kid in Chaos Ball King. In the book they're like... 14? Hey, Peter Porker is a real thing. He's in uh, Enter the Spider-Verse. Come on, true face. I'll get you eventually. See? Big screen. That all of them. No. At least one left. Oh no! But what will Brina do without you? Brina can't speak Polish. Brina can barely speak English. Where was this last one? Oh, you're up there on the balcony. Oh, that had to hurt. Another one on the balcony. Right, she's talking again. I think they're all dead now. So let's gather our more. And nades. And more ammo. Right, opens the door. Guess you had that one covered. Give me a boost. I think I can reach that ladder. No. Where's she at? What ladder? This ladder. Shame you have to sit on something that's pretty. 
Here you go. Okay, I never do anything for you. Climb. for off this come on this way Just don't want to get the skin off. That was chivalrous, <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's not dead. You just gotta ask for it. More birds. Oh, I've got to shoot them to test them. I've been shooting the parrots and toucans to test if they're bulletproof or not. Right, it's just given us a new chapter thing. So I think I'm going to finish there and go in search of food and stuff. Oh. Makes it good two hours. Save game. Tell your face. Right. And then main menu. Yes. There we go. So we made a decent start on Uncharted 2. But we have Uncharted 3, and I do have Uncharted 4. I need to add that to the list. Because Uncharted 4 was on the PlayStation Plus thing, so I can play it. Oh. We'll find somebody to raid. I am going, Brina, because I'm going in search of food. And I need to get my shit ready for work tomorrow. Run away. Um, who's a boot? You're not allowed to call me an amateur, Brina. You've done like what one stream in a year. Well, we'll raid on over to Phil and say hello to Phil. So I will see you all soon. I'm a uh, starting being on it at three on Tuesday. Yeah, because I get paid tomorrow. So it's Bay or three on Tuesday. That's what we're doing. So we'll see you all soon. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye.